You know, it sure is fun to relax a bit and think about the good old days when people actually cared about inerrancy. I remember back when we took that rascal Robert Gundry down a few notches in the Evangelical Theological Society, back in 1983. Yes, sir, did you know that Gundry was asked by three-quarters of the members to resign from ETS because of his denial of the historicity of certain sections of Matthew? Ah, those were the good old days. Nearly now. Three quarters of the membership? Yeah, that's what I said. Now, now, Dr. Geisler. You know that's not the whole truth, do you not? Uh... How many members were there in ETS at that time? Uh, 1,698. So... Three quarters of that is 1,273.5. Are you saying that that many members asked Gundry to resign? Oh, well, of course not. There's no such thing as half a member. You're dodging the question. Now answer me. How many members actually voted? Uh... Is it not true that out of those 1,698 members, only 155 actually voted, while the rest abstained? Oh, uh, well... And is it not true that of those 155 who voted, only 119 voted for Gundry's expulsion? Oh, uh... Which means, does it not? But it was not three quarters of the members who asked Gundry to resign, was it? In fact, it was closer to only seven percent, was it not? Uh, I guess so. You are spreading an untruth, Dr. Geisler. And you know what happens to people who spread untruths, do you not? No! No, no, no! You can't send me to hell! Send you to hell? Who said anything about that? What happens to people who spread untruths is that they have to listen to the greatest hits album of Ingerbert Humperdinck. Please release me. Yeah. 